the following video was uh, shot over a couple of days, so if I double up, double up and say something a couple of times, I uh, can't help it. So not every part of what I do, um, I'll tell you what the truth is. But anyway, enjoy the video. G'day, mate. Now, this is a uh, son of Chomper G272. Uh, already has a pop up piston, and I had plans to um, deck the cylinder and get a bit better bit squish. Uh, put it solar through the spark plug and had a look. Now, on this side, this um, piston I checked before, it's about 29th hour, which you know, I'm could have machined a little bit more over there. I was only a kiss it and maybe bring it back to where it was. But I started checking either side of the piston, either side was fine. But the back side, the uh, cylinder, I should say. So I put the uh, wire solar back through the back of that arm um, cylinder. It's very thin. So that squish there on that. I'll put them in. That squish on that. It's 21th hour. Very thin. So I never thought about that, but I thought I'd better check. But some um, yeah, no good. So I can't do squish on that. I've seen now. Had Tommy Vans been ported to pop up piston. Modified muffler, modified air filter, it's got twin dogs. Um, the timing events really made it come to life though, it's just got more talk now. Um, so, I'm, I'm finished with this thing now, but goes home back to his owner, so I'll get it done this week. I'm a Paul Sauce, and now I'm going to play with my son's Cyclone 372. Now, this is a Boomer Rag one, but I've got that off another guy. I'll be um, putting it somewhere else soon and put back to all the white colours. Now this is a um, highly modified big ball kit. I, I've i done it with the before but it doesn't perform the way it should and I'll explain why. It's running a MS381 uh, piston which is a 52mm wide uh, piston and it does work but the skirt is too short in the cylinder. So as it comes down it doesn't compress uh, fluid into the ball that much. I'm not fluid. Uh, fuel and petrol, so it revs its head off, but it has no power after that, no torque. So I'm gonna swap that around to the um, don't do anything, it's 50 mils right now. Swap that around to the Lloyd Barn piston. Now, I've spoken about this piston in the last video, I can only run one, one ring on this piston, one ring, but inside this cylinder, I've opened up the um, transfers in a way it's very similar to an uh, echo, uh, big long tongues on the side. So You'll see in a sec. Uh, that was to help with the breathing using the um, the MS381 piston. So the piston's out of a knee tech. So I use it for a while. I have he, it's my son's saw, but he's never used it. So, funny enough. But um, just thought I'd show you guys that this is next. And I'll just squish on the cylinder on this one too. So if it's a big squish, never checked it. Never been, um, never done that type of um, checking on something before. But it has been poured 81 degrees in the intake. So... We'll see how she goes with the compression, but up the piston and the skirts are probably uh, like three or four miles longer than a steel skirt. So there's a lot of um, more improvement to get power wise. So I'll pull this down, clean her up, and get ready. Let's check her out with more off. Now, this piston is not 100%. It's a bit weird in a strange place. The side of the ball. The bomb part, the, no any of the rings. I'll show you the ball, there's no real damage to that. You see, I've cut big grooves to let more for air through the windows on the piston. Still, piston has far to decline, so no real damage. The intake is fine, the side there is fine, big windows like that. But something's gone wrong way down the bottom. And I think it's pissed and slap because it's the short the skirt. It's um rubbing hard. Lights camera. How you guys get the view you want? There you go. So it's just done the mark on the very base of the cylinder. Where I suppose the um, piston stops just there when it nails. Same other side, open right up, the flow really easy. And it revs, it revs hard, but my theory was less skirt, um, less pushing fuel into the cylinder, better fuel economy, and still have power. But 
It works, but doesn't have talk. So could change the um, ignition timing, but I haven't done that. So I'm going to put a uh, b ball red door piston here. And have a look where she goes. So you see, it's um, I was right at the bottom, so there's my squish mark, sole mark. So I've got uh, 38,000 um, squish. So I want to try and take, take it to, say, 24, so my last bit too. Um, because this is my own personal soul, so just, just, just for fun. A pop up piston, but yeah, it'd be just for fun, guys. I should look at the piston more closer, so that's the piston there. Oh, the green light. No. Oh, come on. I want one. There you go. So you see this mark there, no one in the rings, no one near the exhaust port. I just roughen it up a bit there. You can't feel on the cylinder at all. Just feels a little bit dirt, so it feels like that's not my nail. It's higher, but yeah, I think it's that. There's no skirt. Now, if you look at the you know, skirts, it's a Hasselhoff Klein skirt. It's got that little um, skirt hanging down. Well, where the uh, mark is, the machine mark. That's how long the still is. So it's like they come out of the same factory, same um, piece of um, aluminium tube and machine and everything else. But there, it's an Indian little bit, um, but I will show you other thing too. Because these rings sit uh, in a different position, it's into, you see how they're in writing up, up here, uh, the piston rings are to that point there. that point there on both sides and because it's doing that uh, the joint on this particular piston so if you stack off it does work the locating pins they're really wide compared to where my half sign has so one's there and one's over here and they're in line really with this um, port and stuff so um, Bottom and centre, they would pop into that um, upper tra at upper transfer very easily. Uh, so you got uh, half a mil overlap. So I always thought this thing would blow straight up, but it hasn't. So you see, it's just sort of kissing through there. But I got a big ball now, and we'll see how she goes. I'll machine it down. Uh, there you have 30, uh, 30, 34,000. So yeah, just got to nip, take a nip off it. Yeah, mate, working on Studvana. Um, the piston from the little red uh, barn. Uh, where is that bus thing? This one right here. I tried to fit it in, but this um, similar squash. I've got a, um, a new tech um, MS381 uh, piston. So you can see windows. I'll take it off. See windows there. So I put that together the way uh, for my own special design. So I'll show you that. I've shown it before, but those windows lined up with like big holes. It's better put together. You know, use it um, to do some more cutting. I really wanted to get back to being a house farmer, but um, didn't fit. This part of the um, cylinder top and bottom is squished in. I had to um, file that around the outside edge up years ago to make it fit into this boom rag. It just would not fit too tight. So I think it's bent just a tiny bit. It's got a few scars on the piston on the, the front and back, but it fits and goes up and down easily. So I go back to this and um, use it. So um, I'll do some kind of cutting soon, guys. So I'm back out the shed looking at uh, Studvana. Um, I decided to go stick with the um, MS381 piston and went one ring. So I thought oh, that'd be good. Put the uh, cylinder on there, wait overnight, and it was um, all right. The piston would go up and down nicely at top. Put it down. But as soon as you got down towards low, it would get tight and tighter and all of a sudden it would be super tight and go light again when you um, so it come back up again like that. So I worked out what it is. Now I cut extra squish off the cylinder. I cut extra squish off the bottom of the cylinder, the um, skirts. But when I put this cylinder on years ago, or a couple of years ago, it wouldn't fit, so I put a file on side, 
and fold the edges around until I can finally make it fit in the actual case down here. It wouldn't fit it super tight. And I think that's what the problem is now. I'm going to put it back on the lathe and I'll, I'll true up the sides here of the skirt. As it goes down into the, the, um, the chainsaw down here, it squishes together and starts tightening on the piston, which um, explains the funny uh, mark of the piston itself. The mark there. So you see it's been squishing. So what we do with that skirt? So, uh, I've seen they've been using the MS381 um, piston. I'm going to stick with it. I'll get this to um, try and use this cylinder and see if I get it work. It revs and carries on really good, but the extra tension on the piston, see if it's clear away, extra t um, pressure on the piston causes friction and that loses the power. And maybe that um, power can be gained back by grinding it back on drawing it up. So it won't, won't take long, we'll just take it off the bottom bit and take it with the sides here and it should be right there. But yeah, she's use the title page. I'm now. I have to get fair of that. Well, I'll get this done. So I think I've got this sorted out. I'll bring it up a bit here so bit better. Better view. Now this is the MS381 um, piston. One that was on there. It has run with this piston, so I'll, I think I'll leave it. It's not bobbed there, but it goes on off of easy. Um, impulse line and load. But that seems to be alright. It now rotates, no worries. Not hitting nothing. But I don't know yet, I haven't bolted it down. Maybe when I bolt it down, it might change the life again. That's all right. Um, the piston from the um, big ball kit. Which way did that go? Oh, right, it goes towards the exhaust. It's still tight. So the piston on the MS381 piston's already worn a bit. So it does go in, but it takes a bit of pushing. So I'm not happy with that. So I'll stay with the MS piston. And put it back together, I'll clean it all up, put it back together and see how she runs, which she should run a lot better. Um, be better squished, so it has to run better. The intake will be lower too, I suppose. So it was, oh, it was 81 degrees, but I'll see how she runs, but um, I'm pretty happy with that. Put the bottle back together. It goes on easy, so I don't know how much difference there is in pistons, but it's just a, a micro millimeter off there, so okay, I'll clean this up and put it back together. Get it back together. She's still not perfect, but um, way better than what it was, so I can turn her over. That's the wrong way. Turn her over. Bit stiff at the very bottom end, like that. But it was running before even stiff than that, so they should loosen up. Um, the metal's bent in a bit, so I've given it room to expand back to where it should be. So that should be alright. And I've got 20 feet squish, so it's pretty thin. We can't focus, focus. Um, I'll zoom in. Yeah, it's a 20 thou. That's pretty thin. Weird. So, be interesting to see how this girl goes. She went good before. I was happy with this, but didn't realize, but didn't realize that the um, piston was um, scratching on the cylinder like it was. So, we'll see. Um, it's been put together dry too. So, um, I, um, I had a problem actually putting the rings in where like the um, transferred ports are. I had trouble getting the ring back in. So, one ring. But yeah, she's right to rock and roll again tomorrow. If it turns the stuff, thing dries out, the glue was. But yeah, it's been advanced, the timing, so all of that. She should be good. So I'll start that up tomorrow. That's all right. I'm happy with that. It's running over nice and smooth. No clicking, not clicking noise. So I'm happy with that. All right, I'll get it back together. Just got it back together. I haven't started. I'll show you the impression. It's um, pretty good, actually. You happy with that? That should go pretty good. It's one ring and brand new ring, so it will take time, but I feel that. Going good. Turns over all right. No tight spots. Happy, very happy. Happy man. Okay, let's see if she sounds like the problem with um, life. It's getting late in the afternoon, 25 o'clock, but the sun's going down early. They rebuilt this last night. It's just 24 hours for the glue to go off. But hopefully nothing goes wrong. I hope it just starts and does what it has to do. Thanks for the damn compression of it now. That's a decom valve in. <laughs>
Hum. Pretty good. The new ring. They may not cut me so. The whole compression from having that. So I'll take Woody out soon. I'm just tuning in now. Because she's running funny because new power I'm bringing up there. She needs more fuel than the low, but yeah, looks good. Right guys, over now, sounds good.